you know where we're supposed to go? Mrs. Piccolo said we were going to classes today. Well, let's try this one. I guess he had to run to the office. What about this class? Feathers, claws, beaks. I don't think we belong in there. Stand back. I'll try this. Wait. You're sure Mrs. Piccolo said we're going to classes? A class, uh... Oh, classify. <sighs> Living things, like animals, can be grouped together by the ways they are alike. This is called classifying. First, you need to know if something is an animal. If something is alive, and it is not a plant, then it probably is an animal. Now, you can put it in a group with other animals that are like it. Let's look at six groups of animals. Insects, reptiles, Amphibians, fish, birds, and mammals. The largest group of animals is oh. insects. Wow. There are more insects than any other kind of animal on the earth. There are nearly a million kinds of insects in the world. Insects are a group of animals that have six legs and three body parts. All six legs on an insect bend where two parts of their leg join together. These are called jointed legs because they bend where they join. An insect's body has three parts. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Some animals have bones, and some don't. Insects belong to the group of animals that have no backbones. They are called invertebrates. Many insects have a hard covering on the outside of their bodies called an exoskeleton. It's an outside skeleton. The exoskeleton protects an insect's insides like a suit of armor. When an insect grows, it gets too big for its exoskeleton. A new one grows, and the old exoskeleton falls off. Some insects shed this outside covering many times until they are fully grown. Insects change the way they look as they grow. They may start their lives as an egg. This is a butterfly egg. The egg hatches and becomes a larva. A butterfly larva is called a caterpillar. The larva changes into a pupa. And finally, the adult butterfly comes out of the pupa. This change from egg to larva to pupa to adult is called metamorphosis. The word metamorphosis means to change. Most insects go through these four changes during their life. That class kind of bugged me. You're silly. It was fun to learn about insects. I can't wait to find out what's behind this door. Me too. Whoa. Reptiles are another group of animals. The word reptile means to creep. Reptiles come in many shapes and sizes. Turtles tortoises, crocodiles, alligators, lizards, and snakes are all reptiles. Most reptiles have dry, scaly skin, like this alligator. Some have hard shells, like this turtle. As reptiles grow, their skin gets too tight, so they grow a new, bigger skin. When the new skin grows, the old skin splits and falls off. Most reptiles' bodies are as hot or cold as the air or water around them. 
When the temperature of the air or water changes, their body temperature changes. They are called cold-blooded. This means their body temperature changes with the outside temperature. Reptiles lay their eggs on land. These eggs are tough on the outside to protect the baby inside. When baby reptiles hatch, they look just like an adult reptile, only much smaller. These baby alligators look like tiny adult alligators. Reptiles have bones inside their bodies. Animals with skeletons inside their bodies are called vertebrates. Reptiles also breathe air with lungs inside their bodies. I breathe air with lungs too. But you're not a reptile. They have dry, scaly skin and are cold-blooded. And they hatch from eggs. Are you ready for this one? I don't know. You better be careful. It sure looks slimy. Amphibians are a group of animals made up of frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders. Amphibians are cold-blooded and have bones inside their bodies like reptiles. But they are different in many ways. Amphibians begin their lives living in the water. But when they grow into adults, they live on land. So amphibians have two lives one in the water and one on land. The word amphibian means double life, two lives. Most adult amphibians live in warm, wet areas or near water because they have to keep their skin wet and lay their eggs near water. Amphibian eggs hatch in the water. An adult frog lays its eggs in the water. When the eggs hatch, Larvae swim out. Frog larvae are called tadpoles. At first, tadpoles don't have any legs. As tadpoles get bigger, they grow legs for walking on land and lungs for breathing air. When the change is complete, frogs are able to leave the water and live on land. They return to the water when it is time to lay their own eggs. This change from egg to larva to adult is called metamorphosis. Speaking of water, I hear something behind this door. Oh, I do too. Here. You better be ready to get wet. Fish are another group of animals. There are over 20,000 different kinds of fish in the world. Many of them are very colorful and strange looking. Some fish are long and skinny. Other fish are round and spiky. Some are graceful and some are scary looking. Fish live their whole lives in the water and they breathe air through gills. Gills are tiny openings on the sides of their heads. Fish swallow water and then push it out through these gills. This is how they get air from water. Most fish have scales on their bodies. These scales protect the fish. Fish are cold-blooded, so their body temperature is always the same as the water they swim in. And most fish hatch from eggs. Speaking of eggs, wait until you've seen what's behind this door. A peek into the sky shows us that there are many kinds of birds all over the world. Some are large, some are small, but they all have something in common. Birds are a group of animals that have feathers, wings, and two legs. And birds are the only animals with feathers. Some birds have very colorful feathers like parrots, blue jays, and tiny hummingbirds. All birds have wings, but some cannot fly. Emus can't fly. 
The ostrich is another bird that has wings but can't fly. It's the world's largest bird. It can grow up to eight feet tall and weigh almost 350 pounds. The ostrich is a fast runner. Some animals, like bats, are often mistaken for birds because they have wings and can fly. But they are not birds because they do not have feathers. Birds lay eggs. Most birds warm the eggs in their nests by sitting on them. When the baby birds hatch, the parents take care of them by keeping the babies warm and feeding them until they are old enough to take care of themselves. Some birds can swim. Penguins and ducks have special webbed feet that help them move quickly in the water. Gosh, that class was for the birds. Very funny. Didn't Mrs. Piccolo say that we were going to learn about six groups of animals? Well, we've seen insects, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and birds. What's left? Let's see. Mammals come in all shapes and sizes. Mammals can be big or small. What makes a mammal different from other animals? Mammals feed their babies with mother's milk, and they are the only animals that have fur or hair. Mammals' fur can help them stay warm. Mammals' bodies stay the same temperature all the time even when the weather gets very cold or hot. This means they are warm-blooded. Some mammals, like sea otters, grow thick fur to help stay warm. Other mammals, like seals, don't have a lot of hair on their bodies, so they have a layer of fat under their skin that helps them stay warm. Elephants are large mammals that live in warm places, so they don't need much hair or fur to keep them warm. And mammals have bones inside their bodies. They are vertebrates. Almost all mammal babies are born alive. They do not hatch from eggs. When a mammal baby is born, it cannot take care of itself. The parents must take care of their babies and teach them to find food. When young mammals can take care of themselves, they may leave their parents and live on their own. Mammals move around in different ways. Dolphins and whales swim in the ocean. Bats fly from place to place. But most mammals walk around on four legs. Or walk around on two legs, like we do. And some mammals can also go to school. I felt right at home in there. Of course, you have hair. You're a mammal. You can group animals together by the ways they are alike. Wow, we saw six classes of animals today. Can you remember them all? Like, what class of animals has six legs and three body parts? Insects. What about this one? It has dry scaly skin, is cold-blooded, and lays eggs on land. Reptiles. That's right. Do you know this one? They have moist skin, lay eggs that hatch in water, and then grow lungs and legs to live on land. I know. Amphibians. Do you know what group of animals lives in water, breathes with gills, has scales, and lays eggs? That's easy. Fish. And what group is made up of animals with two legs, wings, and feathers? Birds! And of course, you know what kind of animal has fur or hair? Has babies that are born alive and feed its babies milk? Mammals. We better get going. Time for class. For more great videos, dial 1-800-483-3383. One hundred percent educational videos.